I hope you can hear me for bees. It is teeming with bees, this wisteria I'm standing under. Um, I was thinking this morning, and I don't know what brought it into my head, I was remembering uh, our friend Lizzie standing on the bridge in Memorial over the river on the 31st of January 2020 as Britain finally left the European Union and she stood on the bridge um, holding a, a flag on a pole. It was probably a European flag. I, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't a Union Jack. I can't remember now. And I don't know why, but I was reminded of how Brexit or the, the whole thing went on forever and ever and ever. The whole leaving took so long and um, the referendum took place in, I looked just now, in June 2016. And then it was, uh, what, four, just under four years before Britain actually left. And it reminded me of my dodgy tooth. <laughs> Bear with me. It reminded me of my dodgy tooth that I had uh, last year that was a bit, wobbly and if you're like me you avoid the dentist like the plague so I didn't go to the dentist with it I put up with it and hoped it would go away and hoped it would do its own thing um took it to Canada thinking that's going to come out whilst I'm in Canada there's no way that's going to stay um and carried on through Canada and, and then came back which is a year ago almost now and um finally I went to the dentist um where are we? April, May, 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 but probably, probably January, February this year. Don't think it was before Christmas. It might have been after Christmas. Went to the dentist and he took it out. And the relief, uh, for one thing, I probably could have taken it out myself. It was that ready to come. But the relief of it finally going, the relief of it being taken, and, and that I could get on with my life now. And it and I thought that's how it felt for me here, for me, not necessarily for other people, other British people, but for me, it was like, thank fuck for that, you've gone. Because the whole leaving had been so um, disruptive and painful and we don't want it like that, we want it like this, no, we want that, we don't want this. It was like so many times, you know, that's it. I'm leaving your group and then coming back in. But but we want to leave, but we want to take this with us. Such a lot of wrangling, such a lot of uproar that went on during that time. Such a lot of taking the, Britain taking the high ground, British politicians taking the high ground. When really, for me, what was going on in Europe was like, oh, for fuck's sake, get on with it. Just go. I'm, you know, I don't know. I wasn't sitting, I wasn't sitting with the politicians in Europe, but I know that for some reason Britain had become this, or or, or holds themselves in this place of, look how great we are and we're big, and you're going to be sorry when we leave, and not seeing how small they are in relation to the whole of the the group. Um, so yeah, it reminded me of having a bad tooth, and having it taken away and, and what a relief that was. Um, these things come into my head, you know what I'm like, they come into my head and that's what was coming into my head this morning I think. Um, or was it, was it this morning? Yeah I think it might have been, yeah. So it's um, beautiful and it's cold. This wisteria is teeming with life. Um, and I'll, I'll do a proper shot of it when I finish this. Um, we have been, we're going to take Mrs. Gold Brahma to the vets tomorrow. I went into the vets this morning. They wouldn't let me bring back any Metacam for her. They want to see her. So we're going to take her down tomorrow afternoon. Um, she's still limping. She isn't as bad as she was when she started limping. I think she sprained it. I think she's had it caught and, um, has pulled a pulled a muscle or something pulled a ligament um but they want to see it before they give any medication i told her the vet that i spoke to that i'd been sharing the medication she didn't raise her eyebrows when we were at um 
Gail and JP's the other day were talking about chickens because they've got chickens and they've lost two of their hens to a fox. I don't think they're as, um, oh, what's the word? Rigorous as we are with, with shutting them in. You really need to be on top of that if you keep hens. I mean, obviously you can lose them at this time of year if you're free ranging, there is a risk. But you need to be quite rigorous at closing their door because JP talked about ordering a, a door closer and was commenting on the fact that they were all English. And I said, well, you know, that's because English look after their animals. But we talked about the cock crawl and they went, you took a cock to the vets? And we went, yeah. And I thought, and I joked, right? we're English. Of course we take our chickens to the vets. But again, the French have a, in my experience, get a few French people come on and have a go at me. In my experience, French people have a very different attitude to um, pet care and animals. Um, and, you know, you know the cock rule. He's so gentle. You know, he's like having a pet dog. You wouldn't not go and attend to him if he was in pain. So, yeah, we went in, tried to get some Etacam, but we're going to go down tomorrow with her. We went and picked up some chicken food and then we went on and had the Lucullus, food at Lelucalus, which was nice. It was um, simple, as is very common when you have the menu du jour. It was a uh, rice salad. So you get a bit of green salad on your plate and um, it was rice with bits of ham and bits of chicken and it had quite a bite to it, the rice. So I think it was probably brown rice and mixed in something that had some mustard in it. So that was quite nice. And then uh, we had uh, onglet de boeuf, which we stood outside looking at the menu board and Mark said, what's onglet? I went, I don't know. I said, but it isn't awful. I know it's a beef I will eat, um, but it's just a, um, I think it's a, sl you have to cook it slowly. You can't fry it. And I think it's a flank around the flank area of the cow. Um, so we had that and that came with another green salad and it came with, um, I think it was pasta because I tasted a bit of it and I said to Mark, I'm not going to eat that because I, you know, unless it's, unless it's, it's I've had the carbs with the rice and I don't really need any more carbs. And, it, and if it's pasta, it's going to have gluten in it and I'm not going to waste my small gluten in to take on something I'm not really bothered about so I didn't have that but it was tiny little um mar little marbles very small pearls pearls of pasta and I can't remember what they're called but that's what it was and and that looked it was nice but it wasn't gonna it didn't appeal to me enough for me to think oh I'll have it but the the gateau de pomme did appeal to me so I did have that and that came with a it was an individual little gateau with uh there was a bit of apple in the middle of it and that came with a small a very small spoonful of ice cream so i had that i sort of toyed with having the dessert and then when it came i thought oh, i'm gonna have that <clears throat> i also had breakfast this morning very un unusual for me very rare but i just was much more hungry than i am normally and i just thought and this was at nine o'clock and i thought i'm not gonna make it through till one o'clock um so i had some hash browns and some bacon it's really nice and um so there i had that we um so yeah we went there had that came home and i've got the doctors this afternoon i've got um the doctors at 5 30 so um i'm running out of the heavy duty um analgesia and i need it i've been eking it out for days i've had quite a lot of pain over the last couple of days and I need I need the drugs so I'm gonna get that and I want to get a blood test and see what my HbA1c is doing which is a measure of your blood sugar is it your blood sugar blood sugar over three months because obviously for the last six weeks I've mostly given up sugar so I'd like to see uh, and and pasta and, and bread and and all of those things that have sugar added to them anyway so I'd quite like to see if that's showing on my blood results I'd like to see a bit more evidence of uh, the good I'm doing I don't think I'm going to talk to him about what I'm doing I think it's still a bit fringe over here the gut analysis and the microbiome and I don't really think that he's going to understand what why I had a gut test so I'm not going to talk to him about that I'll just keep it simple I think 
Well, I think that's it. So I'll show you the wisteria now, more wisteria. But the, the thing is, is it, once it's gone, it's gone and you, it's not here. And we'll have to go all through this again next year, next spring. We had a spring a couple of years back where we didn't have this. So I'm making the most of it. We had a, a, a really horrible, horrible overnight freeze and everything just it just killed anything that was in bud which included the wisteria so we had no wisterias um about two years ago so it's really lovely having this and actually i'm quite surprised it's so prolific because it had so many seed pods on it i didn't think it would flower quite like this so i'll show it to you now so yeah i'm talking about brexit which i don't normally talk about i haven't talked about it for ages but it just it was just lizzie standing on the bridge came into my head and I, I thought, yeah, anyway, somebody hopefully will tell me what the benefits of Brexit were. We are about to, we're about to visit Brexit land. Where are we? What's today? Today is Thursday, the 18th of April. This time next month, um, we'll have been there a while. So yeah, looking forward to it in many ways. And then in some ways I'm not. I'm going to turn it round for the wisteria now. Don't go away. So this is, we're underneath it here, obviously. I'm going to push you up inside it. Oh, it's gone quiet for me out here now I've come out from underneath it. Here we go. A few clouds as well. Oh, look, clouds. It's been a lovely day for clouds. I did a film this morning of clouds. Oh, I meant to say I went back to bed. So I was up at seven. Mark was up at half nine. And, and I just sat there and I said to him, I think I'm going to go back to bed. I was so tired. I just, you know, hungry, tired, in pain. I suppose the pain makes you like that. So I said, I think I'm going to go back to bed. So I went back to bed, didn't wake up till 11.30. So, I'm really pleased about that. Oh, do you want me to stand here for longer? It's lovely, isn't it? Shout if you want me to turn it off. Okay, thanks for watching. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to like and all of that jazz. Oh, talking of jazz. Hold on a minute. Oh, no, she's going to come too close. Oh, what are you doing? Hmm? Okay, bye.